Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios. Like I said in a previous video, I'm going to build an Ender 3. This is not going to be like a complicated, informative build. I'm just going to be doing all the mods and then printing this thing out when I'm done. So it will be not like a uh, teach you how to build it. It will be just all the mods I did to give you ideas. I'll have links to everything I use, uh, the products and the uh, files from Thingiverse or wherever I get them from. So the first thing I did, uh, I already have it on. Uh, these right here are uh, U-cell comp compression springs. As you can see here in the uh, shot, the original springs don't have as many coils and they're not flat. So there's a lot more give to them. These are a lot more solid. Uh, these won't come on a CR-10S initially and they don't put them on a lot of the uh, printers anymore. So that was the first thing I'm putting on this and also um, a lot of people will notice this when they get a new Ender 3, there's a little bit of play. You can hear that wobbling. And this is a simple um, fix. And another thing you'll notice, uh, when you um, get into 3D printing, you'll buy a set of tools. I mean, the tools work that come with these. And you have to <laughs> break this, obviously. But you'll want something a little more convenient to use. Obviously, a little tiny... Um, Allen wrench is not going to make it as convenient. So what you do with this, loosen everything up as I just did, then come back in, slowly tighten it. Don't just, you know, grab everything and tighten it uh, at first. So uh, that is it. Let me show you real quick how that fix worked out. See, no more wobble. Perfect. So uh, we'll be back, and well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a new build plate. Uh, we'll do a full build tack uh, spring steel magnetic build system on this, and we'll see you in a second. Okay, I don't know if I did this the correct way or not. It's working out great. I got the magnet uh, bed onto the, um, the heat plate, the aluminum heat plate. I'm working the build tack onto the uh, magnetic uh, or the spring steel sheet that goes on the magnetic plate. And uh, so far so good. I noticed that the spring steel uh, is rounded now. I've heard in the past that it was like had burrs on it. Very smooth, whatever I heard in the past. Um, uh, they have a, a, a better uh, quality control on the build tack. I've never seen it before, but I heard things about it. So what I've been doing is just holding this, working it from the middle out and then slowly removing the backing paper. And then if there's any excess, I'm just gonna uh, take like a um, X-Acto knife or hobby knife to it or see what other tool I can use. And there we go. Let's see if I still have all the sense <laughs> frame still. And that, there's not a bubble on that. That is perfect. And this is like a little tool. They sell one on BuildTac. I probably should have bought it when I bought this, but then I didn't want to pay the extra shipping to reorder it. So I bought this, uh, whatever this is called, a tech wrap. I might, this might be for doing um, tint on windows or something like that. It's got a little felt piece and the plastic thing. I'll put, like I said, I'll put links to everything I'm using below and Perfect. Let's see the bottom of this. Yeah, you can see, let me see, showing the edges. So there's, they, they rounded the edges, so I got that thing nailed. I am uh, proud of myself, because I was worried about having to screw this up and redoing it, or buying another plate, but I do want to get more plates in the future, and maybe experiment with some other um, surfaces, like uh, PIE, and then there's a new system coming out soon, Wham Bam, something like that, I signed up for, and I like their plates have the little tabs on them. So uh, we'll be back and we'll do the next mod. Hey, we're back. Just doing basically 3D printed mods. Uh, build tack looks great. Getting the printer uh, together. I'm not putting it together according to directions. I've done one before. Just as I'm getting my mods set aside, I'm putting them on. So if you've seen these before. These are the uh, uh, fan protectors. This is all done in 3DX Tech Low Gloss Sand PETG. This stuff uh, prints at like 280 degrees, but very cool looking. 
So I got that SD to micro SD converter. It's plugged in already. I need to get some Kapton tape from upstairs and secure that. Uh, got some ABS printed. Uh, this is um, Paramount 3D Castle Limestone Gray. So we have all the cables protected to the control box and that is the same uh, high temp um, sand PETG to protect that. And that uses factory screws. And then we did uh, the same uh, ABS from uh, Paramount. We have the squash ball feet. I like how it dampens the vibrations of the machine to any kind of table I put it on. And also it gives a kind of a cool stance. And then uh, next, well, we're gonna be putting more of this together. Uh, one thing that I had to change, I had an Meanwell NES 350-24. That's a bigger, bulkier uh, power supply. It won't fit in this because the way it's the geometries on the bottom, this thing's jammed with wire, not really well thought out when they uh, put this together, but you know, saves plastic. So I'm sending that back. Tomorrow I'll have the LRS 350-24 slimline. You can see the, I mean, this much thinner um, profile because that's going to be the size of the power supply. And this is changing the geometry a little bit. You can see this is on the side. This comes off the left side of the uh, printer or the right side when you're facing it. And then you have your switch. This is going to put it on the back. And then it'll still be running the wires out of the bottom of it. And obviously much more room for uh, all that crowded wires because you have a fuse and all the switch stuff. And you have all the wires coming off the power supply and then the tube running to the machine itself. So we'll be back with more mods. The next item I modded was a Y-axis uh, stepper damper. You can see right there, that's what goes between the motor and the uh, frame of the printer. This helps quiet it. Uh, I ran into a problem with this. As you can see right here, this is the original one. I'll put a photo up of what this looks like uh, with the uh, sensor in it. This is the Y-stop sensor. It goes right there. That's what the wheels run into on the uh, sled and tells the printer that this is the end of the Y-axis towards the back. Well, I put on this new one from Thingiverse. This is on my original Ender 3. The first generation works great. This won't catch. Uh, these wheels on the sled, let me get below here, are parallel now. I can't really see the other side. I don't want to go around there, but they used to be offset. And these were a little bit further uh, back, so they caught it. So you can see right here, I'm stopped. And we have not even come close to it. So that's not working. I'm doing a remix of this right now, and it's on one of my printers. I'm doing it in uh, eSun Black PETG. So we'll be back and see if that works and see if that solved a problem. And I will have links to that too as a remix uh, to this one, because this saved me on the original Ender 3. I was gonna move a bunch of uh, hammer nuts around and actually snap the original uh, piece that was mounted on. And it works great on that, but it will not work on this probably the second generation on when they stop the offset uh, y-axis. And then the other thing what happens, wait, uh, the y-axis hits this motor right now because you're putting this out four or five centimeters. So like I said, we'll be back. We'll see how the new piece works, links to it, and we'll go on to the next mod. Okay, we're on to the next mod. It'll be real quick just to show you this before we do it. I'm gonna show you on the original, uh, or my original Ender 3. McEwen 3D extruder feeder. Uh, this is a Flexi Plus. Uh, amazingly built and engineered, well thought out. I'm um, gonna probably use, this is tough tube, I'm gonna use Capricorn tube on the uh, new machine. And then we have a stepper damper. So I'm gonna do everything, like I said in the beginning of the video, all the mods are going on the machine before the machine is being built. Or is it being modded as it's being built? So it'll be a modded machine before it prints. So we have the uh, McEwen 3D Flexi Plus in the bag ready to go, and a stepper damper. And here is the uh, extruder feeder assembly with the uh, X axis motor and we'll have to take off the uh, the cover to the uh, X axis um, stop and then we'll put the damper on and then the extruder feeder on and we'll show you what it looks like. 